Hello Libra, this is your July 2018 reading. Keep in mind this may not resonate with all Libra people, individuals, so keep that in mind and I want to get right to it. July 2018 Libra, General Reading, Celtic Cross, Libra. July 2018 Libra. July 2018 Libra. Hope all is well with you, and hopefully July, you can get a good reading for July. Got the Lover's card as a beginning energy coming in. Hi, Priestess, I got that for another one. That's the subject at hand. Or what is going on. It could be also just basically what is the main focus. The high Priestess, this is someone who can be mysterious. Or it could be that your gut instinct is right about what you're th feeling and thinking. It also could be that you're wanting to keep things to yourself and be more to yourself. Maybe even, you know, it's sometimes it's better to keep what you're thinking and feeling and what you're coming up with in life and seeing with others to yourself. I don't know why I'm saying that, but I need to put it out there. Hi, Priestess. Why are, you in, why are you there in the upright? Three of Swords. It could be that your gut feeling is right about a third-party situation. Or you are right about a sorrowful situation in general. And you're thinking, my intuition, am I right or am I just imagining things? No, most likely you're not, but you're trying to go with your intuition. We'll find out. We'll go further before I say that there is a third-party situation. It could be that you are also doing this to somebody else. Princess of Swords, that could be your goal, or that could be you. It's in the upright. It could be also a Gemini. It could be an Aquarius, but it could be your energy. I'm here. I'm thinking you're trying to take on your own power. Oh, I'm trying to do this. Foundation, the sun, you want happiness. Just want to be happy in life. In the past, for Libra. Four of swords, in the upright, taking a break, taking a rest. Not wanting things to bother you. Not really meddling in other people's business. You don't want to meddle in yours. You're just wanting to zone out, maybe even vacation some of you. Some of you may have been needing a break. Maybe some of you were not were not feeling well and needed to stay away from people and just rest. Near future. Now this is the next uh, couple of days or a few weeks. Near future. Moon card. Something may very well come out, or so there may be a very you may very well want to keep something to yourself hidden under the moonlight without not shining even though the foundation is you're wanting happiness and sunshine to happen in your life I'm going to put these four face down because I want to clarify these first before I go into the distant future I want to find out what the high priestess is and or find out more about the high priestess and the three of swords in the up or on the upright crossing it why are you there? High Priestess with the Three of Swords crossing it. Why are you there? For Libra. Chariot. <clears throat> Man, I'm getting that for a lot of the <clears throat> signs. Something moving forward erratically. Something kind of out of control. Your goal. Princess of Swords. Why are you the goal? Hangman in reverse. I don't think you're wanting to hold back. Hang around. I know you're no longer wanting that four of swords in the past because the hangman doesn't want to hang around no more and wait around. Sun card. Foundation. Why are you there? It's happiness. It's all about having happiness. Contentment. The sun. Why are you in the foundation for Libra? Sun card again. Reverse. I had that. Because you you may feel like the sunshine isn't there, so you're aiming for that. You're 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 putting your best foot forward when some, in a certain situation. You're just wanting to be happy, and maybe someone else is trying to take away that happiness. One more card, sunshine. 
It could be from someone in the past. Oops, that's too many cards. You know, I try to read those, but four of swords. Four of swords. Four of swords in the past. Why are you there? For Libra, why are you there? Page of swords. You didn't want no, no nothing to bother you, nothing to upset your, your peace of mind. Because that, that page of swords is someone, when it's in the upright, is someone delivered a message that's kind of harsh and abrupt. It's not that necessarily that it's wrong. It's just that it may be not something you want to hear right now, and you just wanted to take a break. In the near future, you do have the moon card. Why is the moon card in the near future? I'm talking about the next few days, the next few weeks, near future, in July. Why are you there, moon card? King of Swords. King of Swords is attached to this moon card. This could be you in reverse, or it could be, like I said, another air sign, Aquarius and Gemini. A lot of times when I get this card for myself, in my readings, it ends up being an Aquarius, Aquarius, but this is for the masses, and it very well could be your energy or another air sign, like I said. It is in reverse, and they have the moon card attached, so if this is your energy, you may want to be careful of that moon. And you may want to actually hold back a little bit. Well, maybe your temper, maybe you may say something that's a little abrupt, or someone may not hold back with you and say something that you just weren't expecting, you weren't seeing, because you do have the moon card here. The moon is very hard to see when this happens. It's like almost a deception, a shadow. The outcome, or the possible future outcome, or advice, possible future outcome. Three of cups in reverse. And I'm thinking this is advice. Be careful if you hang out with right now, who you associate with right now, because everybody is not level-headed, not thinking correctly, possibly, or things just may get out of control because you're not going to see something coming, especially if there's a lot of drinking involved, not necessarily with you, but other people involved. So the Three of Cups, why are you there and why are you in reverse? Two of Cups, it could be from a lover, a past lover, or someone that may be wanting a courtship or a partnership with you that is not something you're necessarily going to want later on. could be anything. It could be a partner, like love partner, even though it's a two of cups, and a lot of times that has to do with a lover. It could be a partner, too. It could be someone you're working with. It could be someone in your family. What is coming towards you? The nine of... Is it the nine of... The nine of wands. It's in reverse. Strength. It's in reverse. So someone's coming towards you. This is with your outside environment. Either someone coming towards you or what they're thinking about you. So why is it in reverse? Why is it there? Someone may think that you're losing strength if, there is, if it's what they're thinking about you and what they're thinking about what you're doing. They could think that you're losing strength or, or your ability to work things out because you got the nine of pen, I mean the eight of pentacles there attached to the strength card. They may feel that your strong side isn't exactly showing up in your work environment right now. You're not exactly pulling the weight, maybe they're thinking. Or maybe this is someone that works with you coming towards you, not pulling their weight. Hopes and fears. Gain. Nine of Pentacles. The fear is you may, you may be afraid that you won't get gain in your life, you know, do well. But you may be also hoping that you get gain. So, because it's hopes and fears. Nine of Pentacles. Why are you there? For Libra, why are you there? Page of Pentacles. Yeah, you're maybe fearing you won't get a message of gain. I don't know what that's about. Give me one more card. Nine of Pentacles. A message of gain. You're afraid that you may not get the message you need. Yeah, maybe a decision against you. Maybe you're afraid of a decision against you. And the outcome is you're still waiting around. You'll still be waiting around. So let's find out why. The hangman, what are you ha What are you waiting around for, Libra? What are you waiting around for? This 
competition. There's too much competition, maybe. Maybe you feel like you're just kind of stuck because there's too much going on with other people around you. Other could be work, could be relationship-wise. You just you're just waiting to see th if things die down. That's the way I'm looking at it. Yeah, you don't see anything coming in that you want right away. At least in July. You gotta watch out for that deception coming your way. Maybe you're doing it or somebody's doing it to you, but someone's not holding back with it. And you're hanging around, it's like you're waiting. You got that goal here, but it shows that you're not wanting to wait, but you end up waiting around, hanging around, waiting for somebody or something to happen. So what are you waiting for, Libra? Tell me in the comments, what are you late waiting for? I'm gonna get one more card here to see if I get some more clarity. But you may have to tell me in the comments what you're waiting for, because you are. Yeah, maybe a, an offer of love, or an offer of kindness, or a friendship. You're waiting for that. It calls a little bit of a burden. Got the Ten of Wands. When the Ten of Wands is someone carrying a burden. So, be careful of that deception, or whatever that moon card is. I never like the moon card. I don't care what anybody says. And that King of Swords, that could be your energy. Like I said, reverse. But it looks like you're just hanging around waiting for something. Clarify in the comments if you want. Who are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? And that's in July. And I will be back in the middle of July. And uh, give another reading. And I'll talk to you later, Libra. Bye.